Hi everyone. So we're back with an update. Yeah. So I'm sorry it took a little longer to get to you. I know we told you that the scans were on the 7th and my appointment was on the 10th, but it sometimes it you have to breathe and um yeah, and process a little bit. Right. So I went on the 7th and got the scans in Foxborough. I had a brain MRI and a body CT scan, full body CT scan. And then um, on Wednesday, we had a, a, a virtual appointment with a pain doctor that was going to help us identify which pain was from my rheumatoid arthritis and which was from cancer and she was she was lovely she was very nice and um she felt like maybe i should do physical therapy um because if the bones were not strong or they're hurting that maybe we could strengthen up around it and that might help so that was her thought at that point and we had also told her at the beginning of that appointment that we didn't want to know any of the results of the scans because we had made a deal with mom's oncologist that none of us were going to look at the results until Thursday, which was the day after her birthday. Right. So she didn't tell us. <clears throat> um, and she said that she was going to talk to Dr. Lynn and try to change some of the pain medicine around. And um, that she would also talk to the palliative care. Um, doctor and then they would all get back to me so that was that and then I had the most glorious birthday because <laughs> my daughter had little presents for me every five minutes I think <laughs> and then we went to a nail so well she stayed the, the night before and so I had presents the night before I had presents in the morning I had a massage and a manicure and you know my favorite colors? Yes, that's that. <laughs> so if anyone asks you what my favorite color is, you now know. So um, we went to get lunch. Mm -hmm. We did some thrift, thrift shopping. Mm -hmm. We went out to dinner with the whole family. And that was why I didn't want to know my results. Cause yeah, we just wanted to lean in and enjoy the day. Yeah. We did. And so then the next day we went to the appointment and she was um, very pleased that um, a lot of the tumors had shrunk. Um, and like they thought the tiny one, like the one that was in my brain, she couldn't see it. She couldn't say that it was gone, but she couldn't see it or pick it out on the um, image. So that was good. Um, the everyone was like so ecstatic about it, except for me, and I had a hard time with that because the other thing that happened was that none of the tumors in my bones shrunk at all. So, um, and she said that I would have to consult with my friend Henning Willers and get possibly get radiation for that. So I was um, deflated while everyone else was like ecstatic. Like. Well, Dr. Lynn was ecstatic, which I think mm. really set the tone for the rest of that visit. She She said, I know we made a deal, but I wanted to call you early because the news was so good. And so you know, when you go to an oncologist, that's not really sort of the vibe you think you're going to get. And of course, we were all hoping for the best and worried for the worst. Right. So. And then she left the bad part till the end, of course, you know. Yeah. So, um, but then and, I work in radiation what, oncology, so I know, like, it's not like. Well, do you want to explain why she was suggesting that that might be a good idea? The radiation? To reduce pain. Right. And it hurts when I sit. Um, yeah. But they, so when I spoke to Henning, he wasn't quite sure why it didn't change at all in my bones. And he, um, 
He said, that's very rare for that to happen. So he wanted me and he called me and I was going to be seeing him today, but that fell through and now I'm going on Thursday. So we'll have another update on Thursday after I talk to him to see what he thinks. Um, but the nice thing about Henning was when I answered the phone, he said, I didn't expect to talk to you. Um, <laughs> when I talked to Henning, um, I, I answered the phone and he said, well, I didn't expect to be talking to you so soon. And I said, I am so happy that you said that because I felt bad because it was like, I thought I would get like six months maybe that I could just take the medicine and not have to add any alternative therapies yeah. in. Yeah. And we weren't even six weeks and we're adding alternative therapies in. And so that kind of was disappointing, but it was reassuring when he said it that he felt the same way. It was yeah. like, hmm, what am I talking to you for so quickly? Right. So I don't know. That's the news. And I'm better about it right now. Um, I will let you know some more on Thursday or after Thursday. Or probably not. Probably not until next week because we're going – away for Jeff's birthday. We're going skiing. No, we're not. Wait, we are not, we're going, skiing. Going, She's skiing. not going skiing. <laughs> <laughs> we are going drinking um, for the weekend. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, unless we decide to talk to you people. So, you know, if we find a few minutes in a quiet spot, maybe we'll do an update. And if not, it'll wait till next week. Yeah. So thank you for listening. And we will reach out to you soon. Bye. Bye.